This video will help you assemble your new Eureka Airspeed Ultra Vacuum Cleaner quickly and without tools, so you'll be up and running in just a few minutes. First, unpack the vacuum and identify all the parts of your new cleaner. The vacuum base and dust cup, the backbone and hose, the handle, the turbo nozzle, the dusting brush, and the crevice tool and extension wand, which can be found inside the backbone. There are several different models of Airspeed Ultra, and some parts and accessories may vary from the model shown here. Begin assembly by removing the crevice tool and extension wand from the backbone. Then, with your feet straddling the base to hold it in place, lower the backbone onto the base and push down to snap into place. Make sure to check the connection of the backbone to the base by pulling up on the backbone to ensure it is locked properly. To assemble the handle, Align the hose retainer so that the handle is facing the front of the vacuum. Lower the handle into the backbone, giving it a firm downward push to lock it into place. Confirm that the pieces are locked together by lifting and pulling up on the vacuum. Next, place the bottom of the dust cup onto the circular rest on the vacuum base. Push the dust cup handle toward the backbone to latch the dust cup into place. The dust cup may not make a sound when it latches. Confirm the dust cup has latched by gently pulling the dust cup handle away from the vacuum. To attach the vacuum's hose, locate the hose connector. Align the tabs on the hose connector with the corresponding tabs on the hose receptor. Press the pieces together and then turn the hose clockwise to lock it into place. The pieces will fit very snugly. This snug seal will provide you with powerful suction for tool cleaning. With the connector end attached, wind the hose through the hose retainer on the front of the handle and fit the end into the designated hook at the base of the tool clips. Finally, place the accessories on the vacuum. Take the crevice tool and slide it into the extension wand. Then, push the wand securely into its storage clips on the side of the vacuum. Place the dusting brush on the back of the vacuum and clip the turbo nozzle into the holder on the front of the vacuum's handle. Your new Airspeed Ultra Vacuum is now assembled and ready to use. For convenient cleaning, wrap the power cord through the cord clips on the vacuum. To recline the vacuum, step on the foot graphic near the base of the vacuum and pull back on the handle. Step on the power switch to turn the vacuum on. To turn it off, step on the pedal again. To prepare your vacuum for cleaning floors, turn the Airspeed Airflow Control Switch to Floors. The Airspeed Ultra has a carpet height adjustment, which is used to clean various types of carpet. Begin vacuuming with the height adjustment at the high carpet position, and then adjust it down to set it correctly for your carpet height. To clean using the hose and accessories, keep the unit in the upright locked position and turn the Airspeed Airflow Control Switch to Tools. Attach the desired tools to the end of the wand. Place the tools back into their storage areas when your attachment cleaning is complete. Then, turn the air path knob back to floors. The features of your Airspeed Ultra Vacuum may vary depending on the model purchased. If you have additional questions about assembling your new Eureka Airspeed Ultra, please refer to the owner's manual or contact our customer service helpline at 1-800-282-2886. We hope you enjoy using your new Eureka Airspeed Ultra Vacuum Cleaner. This video will help you assemble your new Eureka Airspeed Ultra Vacuum Cleaner quickly and without tools, so you'll be up and running in just a few minutes. First, unpack the vacuum and identify all the parts of your new cleaner. The vacuum base and dust cup, the backbone and hose, the handle, the turbo nozzle, the dusting brush, and the crevice tool and extension.